Hi guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Things seems to be going back to normal in regards to Bitcoin. Hopefully the price is picking up. Bitcoin cash has gone down, but we had some crazy few days and yesterday especially was unbelievable. I posted so much. I've talked about conspiracy. I've talked about pump and dump. I talk about uh, people behind uh, obviously Bitcoin Cash, what they're trying to do, such as Roger Ver been working on his baby, the Bitcoin Cash since 2011 and whatnot. And what can I tell you guys? I've came across this just a moment ago and it's unbelievable. Uh, I'm glad this person has actually put everything together so we can make a quick video. I'll put a link in the description. You can go check here for yourself. But what we're dealing right here, it is without a doubt corruption. Uh, people that have been actually prior to Bitcoin, most of them have been dealing with some sort of illegal stuff and uh, selling illegal goods and uh, even John McAfee has been wanted for murder, which I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about these things, but you can make up your mind. But one thing is for sure, that's what these people are doing. They're driven by greed. You know, the history, when you see them, all what they've been doing and whatnot, you can clearly see they've been driven by greed. They probably don't even care about Bitcoin. Let's be honest with you guys. They probably don't even care about Bitcoin Cash. I mean, of course, they have to come out and say, oh, we care. We, you know, we want the future of Bitcoin and all this. They are driven by money. That's all they're doing. And of course, holding most of the Bitcoins and most of the Bitcoin Cash, if you go and watch the conspiracy uh, video, which I made, that's what they're going to be able to do. They're going to be able to drive the price whichever direction they want, just like what we saw yesterday. So they can make millions and millions, if not even billions. I mean, 17 billions were traded within 24 hours. Do you think was this was normal people like me and you guys? I don't think so. We hold such a little amount of Bitcoin that we can barely make anything. I mean, even if we sell and then buy, you, you make a little bit of money, but that's all that there is. These people are really out for good. To make lots and lots of money and um, hopefully we won't allow them to uh, centralize Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash and everything will continue as it was supposed to be so right here uh, real quickly I'll run through the things uh, so this picture is very interesting it popped up yesterday where you see fake Satoshi and former convict Bitcoin Judas having a good time with some he ladies guy so here it is uh, Kelvin Air Roger Ver having a good time drinking red wine and probably laughing all the way. This is October 11 this year, guys. Moving back, um, so he's been convicted. Uh, you can click on this one, you can read more about it. Kelvin Ayer actually has been uh, on the Homeland Security top uh, 10 most wanted list in another agency as well. So if you click on this, you can see right here at Kelvin Ayer illegal gambling business, money laundering. Oh my god! So there you have it. How uh, you know nice uh, John Michael fee wanted for murder uh, but this picture is very interesting now in regards to the murder I'm not going to talk about it I mean I, I don't want to get in this particular thing in details but look at that very nice picture once again so John Michael fee Roger Ver, Jihan Wu and this is people with lots and lots of money I'll tell you one thing now John McAfee and there's a video down below where you can watch it we all know what he obviously made it he made it the antivirus program and whatnot but then he actually went against it and this is incredible he created this and then he went against the the, the very uh, thing that made him millions and millions of dollars and you tell me if this guy is not a, you know a joke and obviously driven by money so Roger Kidver Bitcoin Judas this video is very interesting you can watch the rest I mean he's been also uh, you know taken to court uh, for selling counterfeit Cisco hardware but this video is nice in regards to Mt. Gox and you can clearly see he's lying through his teeth because he's reading from a screen he, this is not even his words he doesn't believe what he's saying and we all know what happened to Mt. Gox I mean let's be honest with that and not just we know what happened with Mt. Gox but we don't know what happened with the bitcoins of all these people and they're worth now billions the bitcoins that disappeared and nobody knows where they are well, some people do, but so here's Roger Ver. Roger Via. I'm just gonna refresh. I'm Roger Veer, longtime Bitcoin advocate and investor. Today I'm at the Mt. Gox World Headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. I had a nice chat with Mt. Gox CEO Mark Carpellis about their current situation. He showed me multiple bank statements as well as letters from banks and lawyers. I'm sure that all the current withdrawal problems at Mt. Gox are being caused by the traditional banking system, not because of a lack of liquidity at Mt. Gox. 
the traditional banking partners that Mt. Gox needs to work with are not able to keep up with the demands of the growing Bitcoin economy. The dozens of people that make up the Mt. Gox team are hard at work establishing additional banking partners that eventually will make dealing with Mt. Gox easier for all their customers around the world. For now, I hope everyone will continue working on Bitcoin projects that will help make the world a better place. This guy is lying through his teeth. He's reading from a screen what he's been fed. And we all know, and he said it over there, uh, Mt. Gox fell seven months later. That's a fact. And I can tell you one thing. I've been recently involved with cryptocurrency and whatnot, but this is crazy. I, I would never believe a single word that comes out of these people. Now, of course, if you want to make money, fair enough, good. But that's what they're trying to do, guys. That's all they're trying to do. Make money for themselves, control everything, lie. And they will continue to lie. I mean, <laughs> what happened over the weekend? It was... We all know what it was. So, Greg Stephen Wright, fake Satoshi. You can see some videos. Man, this guy only knows how to swear. So I'm just for a moment I'm going to play and then you can come and watch the whole thing. There it is. It is a very interesting interview. You can go and watch it, but oh my god, you if you haven't seen it before, it is crazy. The other one is also every time he's been asked in regards to his bitcoins, how did he got the bitcoins and you know details and and all these things he starts to swear and whatnot and it's it's unbelievable so jihan wu uh, the ceo of bitmain we know about the guy uh, you can obviously click on the links as well uh so <laughs> here it is very classy guy that's what it says in here you know this is how you know ignorant these people are and obviously how powerful they are. they don't really care what they say and whatnot you know they can just uh, here it is all many reason that's it that's you can clearly see they are just so power uh, you know the power is so much in in their hands at the moment that they they don't care what they say they don't care what they do they know they're uh, at the moment at least they are unstoppable and they can play around with the market as they please and they can do whatever they want so let's go back real quickly i'm not going to click through every single thing you can watch it for yourself so here it is john mcafee very interesting uh, obviously this guy it does ask him about uh, this murder that I was talking to you in regards, but you can watch the, the whole uh, thing in other videos, but you can clearly see him here. And this is the guy. All right, you can watch it, guys. And this is the guy. That is now coming and saying about things about Bitcoin. He's driven by money and nothing else. Nothing to do with uh, you know the support of Bitcoin and the decentralization and whatnot. Ex main developer Gavin Anderson is claiming the fake Satoshi is real Satoshi. That was very interesting. This is a guy that actually talked with the real Satoshi Nakamoto, at least at the beginning, that's what it's known. That apparently he did talk with the real Satoshi Nakamoto, obviously. He never revealed anything in regards to him, but he is now claiming Craig that Craig is the real Satoshi. Uh, he fits the kind of person that I was interacting with way back in 2010, and he provided some cryptographic proof uh, using the private key from the very first Bitcoin block uh, to show that he possessed that key. So, although it's possible to prove something like that 100%, I think uh, for me, he's proved it beyond a reasonable doubt. Very smart, prone to leaps in logic. So you can watch the whole thing. Again, this guy, I think he's lying and everybody else think he's lying. There is no way that this man 
Greg Stephen Wright is the real Satoshi. We all know it's the fake one, but they obviously, you know, it's a bunch of group of people that are doing, you know, everything they can to control this. That's a fact. That that is a fact. Without, you know, no one ever can, uh, you know, change my mind anymore. After watching these things, reading everything, and obviously doing the research yesterday and all this, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to have the most amount of power, most amount of, uh, you know, bitcoins, Bitcoin cash, and and do as they please and obviously live a very lavish lifestyle so this is uh, Mike Velsch the CEO of BitGo the mysterious pump letter this obviously is the letter that came out uh, in regards to if we go right here the segway 2x letter here it is Mike Velsch the first name on the letter and TIL that segway 2x is a Bitcoin pump and dump group contact Mike Velsch is to participate that is interesting Segwit2x is a Bitcoin pump and dump group. Contact Mike Belsch to participate. Don't know how much the sec will like it through. And you tell me that that wasn't a conspiracy when I showed you the other, obviously, details yesterday on the video. And what we saw obviously happening was exactly what I said on that letter. And this continues to prove it, that that's what these people are doing. I don't think we'll be able to obviously uh, do anything. They're way too powerful at this point, but we just have to be very careful and just continue to support the original Bitcoin. Obviously, you can support Bitcoin Cash as well. If you want to make money, I, I, I have nothing against that. It's your money. You can do whatever you want, but it's unbelievable what we're seeing right here. And um, obviously, we have Rick uh, Falk Vinci, politician, call for CPL legitimization shielding and also noted the retweets from many of the previously mentioned crew members very interesting reading right here very interesting watching to to see what's going on but that shows that um, we're getting to a point that things are getting out of control and um, yeah normal people like us we will be able to make money and change our life but uh, too many crooks out there at the moment too many too many powerful uh, people that are controlling lots of the market and are doing as they please hope you enjoy this video guys i hope after reading this watching this you no longer will have doubts when we do hear or when we do see crazy things are happening around the market especially around bitcoin and bitcoin cash and other forks which could will possibly be coming in the near future and let's see how things plays out thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the video uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Let me know what's your thoughts down below in the comment section. Bye-bye for now.